Hey guys, RC here, back with Club 2, Episode 7, Football Manager 19. We're playing our South American Journeyman. Uh, taking a look at the preseason preview, we're getting ready to open the uh, the closing leg of the season. Uh, the, I was wondering if, if these would change, but this is for the whole season. So we're 400 to 1, uh, of course, in the opening leg, in case you missed it. We are top of the league. I don't know how that happened, but it did. That's a real thing. 14 wins. <sighs> and a plus 15 goal differential. Uh, I tell you what, a lot of relief. A lot of relief. All right, we haven't played any matches. No friendlies or anything in two months. So uh, the squad is looking pretty, pretty rough. Uh, I have it set up for my uh, assistant manager to set up friendlies and handle those. And Bolivia was the same way. Uh, Venezuela was the same way. They, they played one friendly and that was it. So they, they just may not play friendlies. And even when I would go in, you really didn't have any teams to choose from. There was really nobody to choose from. So anyway, uh, let's go through the transfers. We did make quite a few moves. First, let's look at the finances. Uh, you know we were about 780000 so we've shaved about $100,000 off of our payroll. Uh, because we were losing money, we were over a million dollars, so we, we bled some money uh, down the stretch of last season. So financially, we needed to scale back. And then we had those two guys coming in uh, that we had brought in the tr first transfer window but weren't coming in till mid-season so they just joined us uh july 2nd i believe um so we'll take a look at them so we we had to clear some room so let's take a look at the transfers and uh let's see we've got a few we've got a few uh offers out for some small small deals eight thousand twenty thousand seven thousand uh, nothing major. Certainly can afford it. We're hoping they come on for some depth, basically uh, two wingers and a center back. Um, and I've made an inquiry on this center back. I would like to get him, but let's just talk about what we definitively have. So first off, we we got rid of uh, Arian Condori. Uh, not a bad player. He was just uh, not happy with me. Uh, he was He was a backup. And, um, you know, so we got $19,000 for him. He goes to Destroyers. Um, I liked him. 25 years old, I would have been happy to have him. But uh, that got rid of one right back. Uh, then uh, the other one, we got rid of Bruno Lucas uh, for $20,000. Another right back. Now, Bruno, I liked. 26 years old. I did not want to sell him. But... He was making $95,000 a year with us. So he just, he took a pay cut with, with, uh, sign up. Uh, so, you know, we, we, it was basically a liquidation sale. Uh, then we also sold, uh, Sebastian D'Angelo, our backup keeper. Uh, he was 33 years old. He was making around 35,000 a year. He had lost his starting job last year to Queller, so you know I figured he was surplus. So I was able to move him on a free, and really nobody made an offer for him, uh, even asking for say ten thousand dollars. So I just I just got rid of him on a free. And uh, Jesus Sagrido uh, did not want to move him. Uh, they came in and made an offer, uh, twenty eight year old, but I'm I'm bringing in a guy um that can replace him and so uh i really did not want to get rid of him he did play a lot of games and he played very well but again it was a way to free up you know about thirty thousand dollars off the payroll uh the other thing on lucas is what what i forgot is we had two guys coming in that are uh that are foreign players and you're only allowed six foreign players and with the two coming in we had seven so i had to get rid of somebody and so lucas was just by far the most expensive player on our roster and he was not an every match starter so i you know that's why i made him expendable taking a look at who we brought in uh, the first two guys uh i'm gonna uh 
is uh, he's going to be a backup. 22-year-old Argentinian uh, Juan Cruz Profacio. Uh, I like him. You know, he's got four-star potential, acceleration, a little bit of pace. His mentals are pretty good. Work rate, leadership. Uh, determination's a little low, but good first touch, long uh, marking, passing, tackling. So he can play that uh, Calvin Phillips role in the defensive mid with a lot of passing uh, very well. So that is what made Segredo expendable. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, Hugo Mesa. We brought him in on a loan. He's a Bolivian striker. He comes in from Wilsterman, who's, you know, was the top of the league uh, side that we beat in the last match in the opening leg. He's got some pace, really good acceleration, dribbling, first touch, finishing, all average. Uh, just gives us some depth. Uh, uh, Segredo was a striker. No, he was not. Somebody was. Oh, I had a striker that we let go. Um, da, 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 outs. Uh, there was somebody. Released players. Here we go. Suspedas. There we are. So we let him go on a free. He was out of contract, 32 years old. Uh, and again, just trying to free up some salary. Uh, he was on, I forget. Well, he, yeah, he was on like 52000 So uh, anyway, that was the deal there. So let's go back to here. Uh, so he's going to be a backup striker. Limbert Fernandez is another defensive midfielder. Good passing. Uh, he's going to probably take over the starting role. Very pacey, uh, decision-making, first touch, technique. Uh, need to turn my ringer off. Uh, I'm trying to record this a little early before I go to work today. So uh, Fernandez, he's coming in on loan. And then the last guy we had already signed, and he's not going to make his debut today because he's injured, but he should be back real soon. Well, maybe he's not injured anymore. Yeah, food poisoning. He's got one to two days. I don't know, 94%? He might play. Uh, but he's going to be a winger. He can play bo uh, both sides, uh, more of an inside forward on the left. Uh, but he is a true right winger. Very pacey, uh, very good crossing, dribbling, passing. Uh, I like him a lot. Definitively an upgrade. But again, he's Argentinian, so we were up against it uh, with those guys because I had completely forgotten about uh, the six foreign player rule. And so having them gave me seven. So I said, well, let me get rid of the guy that's not an everyday starter and making $95,000 a year. So that's what led to Lucas. So let's get into the matches. We're going to play, uh, we're just going to play one match today uh, just because, you know, going through transfers. So we're going to play San Jose out of Bolivia at uh, our stadium. It's a home match. Last home match, we brought in 59, yeah, about 5,900 people. So what I'm hopeful is that we've, we've added, you know, we've lost some talent. Uh, we've added some other talent that I really like. And we've decreased wages net about $100,000. Um, now, next season's payroll is 1.28. So I, I, I'm not sure why we're going up $400,000, but... I, we'll figure that out next season. That's a next season problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are home favorites, 73 and calm, perfect football weather. We've won five, drawn seven, lost four. Uh, I am going to stay in the Marcelo Bielsa tactic here that we've set up. Queller, uh, Flores, Berendog, Sandoval. Uh, Sandoval uh, is a 22-year-old Bolivian. Uh, he's not playing badly. Uh, he's he's 5'10". He's a little short for a center back for me. But uh, Oviedo is uh, going to be the starting right back now. And uh, that's another reason that made uh, some of the other guys expendable. The newcomer, Fernandez, uh, he's on loan from Bolivar. He'll be our starting defensive midfielder. <clears throat> Pacheco, our 23-year-old, uh, he is pretty stellar. Uh, we're going to look for him for, to be creative a lot this year. Adrian is our Mr. Utility player, but he's going to start also at, at uh, center, center mid. 
and uh, Elizeche on the right, but he is not going to be our regular starter. Again, that's going to be um, the newcomer. Where's he at? Uh, Luna Luna Diali, Luna Diali, Moro Luna Diali. He'll be our starting right winger. Uh, Bejarano uh, is a striker, but he can move out to the wing. He doesn't have very good crossing, which is the one thing I don't like about him. Uh, but I, I kind of like him and Sharamani being on the pitch together. Uh, so we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, Mesa's our, our backup striker. Uh, Maldonado. Huh. He's got much better crossing. You know what? I think I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him the start over here. They've got a connection as well. I like that. Let's go with that. Submit team. Yeah, nobody's in fitness. We need three numbers. So we've got Fernandez number seven, Mason number nine, and Cruz Prefacio number 30. That works. So let me know what you guys think of the signings. Any of those guys going to be impact players for us? I'm looking forward to Fernandez, but uh, that new winger, uh, Luna Diori, I, I'm looking forward to him being on the pitch. I gave some thought to playing this game off camera and then coming back for uh, the next match where he could make his debut. But, all right, prove a point today, and let's get out to it. There's Fernandez. Oh, oh look at the one-two passing, man. Quick one touches. Oh, that's not good. Flores. All right, he tries to step over, take it out of play. Uh, let's pause this for just a second because this has since reset. And we want that down. All right, there we go. I like to be able to see the ratings, the condition. Maldonado picks up an early yellow card two minutes into the match. Dominating possession thus far. Pacheco a yellow card. Oh, boy. His ninth of the season. All right, Queller plays it out from the back. All right, don't, don't dance with the ball. Let's play. All right, there's Fernandez. Oh, he lumps it. Oh, he makes the run. Get on it. Left peg right at the keeper. Knocked out. Sets up a corner for us. I bet he plays it short. <laughs> Fernandez. Into the box. All right. Pacheco. You're going to get stomped there in a second, dude. Do something. Do something. All right. Ovi, Ovi, Oviedo, long throw. Pacheco into the box, back out. Oh, my God. He hit the woodwork. I thought he was going to be off sides, but he wasn't. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, <laughs> three shots on goal right there. All on target. Oh, that got their keeper up to a 6.9 rating. <laughs> oh, man. That was brutal finishing. All right, get creative. Oh, missed the tackle. Oh, damn it. That's going to be a penalty. Shit. God, dog it. Oh, far post. Good placement there by Gamara. Queller went the right way, just had no shot at that. Perfect placement. No, look at that. That's just a perfect shot. Uh, demand more. All right, they're focused. Ovavedo took a ding. He's injured. Doesn't 
Doesn't say he's got an injury. All right, back to Ovavedo. Dropped off to Fernandez. Played through. One touch. Go too high. Not a good attempt at a finish by Maldonado. Everybody's playing well. I mean, Sandoval's got a 6-4. I'm not happy with that. That should get us to the half. Down a goal. Uh... I expect to see a better showing. Uh, you, Mr. Captain, and you better step your finishing up. Because that just weren't good. It were not good. All right, that was a bad play. Come on, boys. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sub you off because you are injured. Um, I'm going to put... Bayorano right there. All right. Ten to two. We have dominated this match. Four on target. Two chances. All right. Ella Zichet into the box. Charmani, big header, number ten on the season. Charmoni with the uh, with a nice sweet header over the outstretched arm of that keeper. Nice, nice ball into the box, right at the spot. Charamoni goes up and gets it. And yes, I'm changing the pronunciation. What I, whatever you get, that's what you get. <laughs> All right. Um, let's. I want to rest Fernandez. Let's bring in Profacio and give him his debut. Gonna give him some praise. All right, here's Profacio, first YouTube highlight for the lone player or for the new incomer, not a lone player. Oh, flubbed by the keeper. Sets up a corner. We've got four minutes of stoppage time. Uh, we are going to, well, we were gonna give a shout. All right, Profacio. Back to Flores, into the box. Oh, he was taken down. They're on the counter. They're on the counter. All right, good tackle, good tackle. Man, I just feel we should have won this game much easier than we're going to draw it here. All right, Baron Doug hoofs it deep. Charamoni. Into the box. Oh, he was eyeing the near post. Almost had it. That was a long shot. He didn't have anybody supporting him. No runners coming up. So fair play. He didn't want to sit on the ball anymore. Oh, nice defense. Bejarano gets control. All right, there's Profacio. Looking, looking composed. Oh, oh, that was not good. Oh, and he just pulled up lame. A tight hamstring. Well, I don't have any more subs, and we're down to the last minute here, I would guess. Through ball. Oh, my God. He let him get the ball. Offsides? Offsides? Nice. Uh, well, we're going to call that a loss, but we'll take the point. Uh, yeah, not not too happy. All right, hopefully he is not injured badly. All in all, I think a good performance. We've got quite a few high ratings. Uh, 
excellent effort good start you know we're 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 rusty haven't played in two months uh we do miss the chance to win two to three days all right so he'll be fine uh makes his debut uh anybody else no the only one good deal so we are we are off to a rousing start with a point that uh, has his ninth in the table that's fair that's fair uh overall table do we have an overall table is this no that's the closing stage uh i can't put i wish we could change this to have the um the the to the overall you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying that the overall table there we go all right so that drops us to second bolivar picked up uh three points so they jumped over us by a point fair play fair play I, I still think we're pretty safe we're what 33 points up i don't think we're going to get relegated this year and that's all we're shooting for we're at 92 percent board confidence one thing let's look at the hierarchy the dynamics oh i actually have three supporters now who is that that's uh I don't know who that is. Padilla, <laughs> Ov Oviedo. Okay, that's our right back. Sadie Flores, our left back. Charamoni, my striker, hates me. Don't know what his deal is. Uh, d d dynamics. His only concern is the club is starting to lack depth in defense. So I I, I don't know what his issue is with me i haven't broken any promises um but yeah so that's kind of weird and then really you would think after we finish top of the table my leadership support would just be through the freaking roof but i think what's really hurting me here is my overall reputation uh, profile uh, i've only got one star so I think when I get my, my next coaching license, that's going to be, that'll help me out a lot with them. So uh, anyway, where do we come back? So let's come back. Um, let's come back at the beginning of August. Let's get another handful of games. We'll come back for Aurora and Pari. And then we'll probably come back uh, for Wilsterman. Uh, we just played San Jose. For, so maybe Potosi, Wilsterman. We'll see two, two uh, videos for that month. And then, you know, then we'll see where we go from there. But, uh, you know, we want to get through the season, but we don't want to go too, too fast. So uh, if you think there's a better pace, let me know in the comments. Uh, like I said, with you, get, you know, with this channel, I'm still small enough that I can, you know, adapt things if, you know, if you guys are wanting to see something a little different uh, and I can listen to the input from you guys. So keep in mind, I do record ahead, usually, a, a, you know, two, three, four episodes, uh, because usually I do like marathon recording sessions, like on a weekend. And then I'll have days like today where I woke up a little early and I can try to get, you know, this episode recorded before I've got to be out the door for work. Uh, no, you can't come on me because I got to leave and go to work. Um, but, um, you know, if you want to, you know, if you want to see, you know, um, you know, did I not show enough matches? Did I show too many matches up in the opening leg? Uh, so let me know what you guys think, if you have any thought at all on the matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play, uh, these four off camera, uh, probably when I get home from work this afternoon. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll come back for Aurora and Pari, uh, and I'll probably record that tomorrow. Depending on what time I wake up, probably before the Leeds match. They play at 9 o'clock my time, so, uh, and then I'll be watching that, and then I can, I'll either have this already recorded uh, or afterwards. No big deal. You won't see it for a few more days anyway, but, uh, you know, I'm only about a, two days ahead right now, so trying to put up the daily content you know i gotta kind of step up my pace uh on on fm uh rather than when i was doing three three episodes a week we're doing five possibly six so anyway 
we will see you guys later. Thanks for checking things out. Let me know what you think about our signings, who you think might be an impact player. I think Fernandez looked pretty good here in, the, uh, in his first match with us. And we will talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye.